Hello everybody, Glass Half Dead here, and a little bit of an odd one today. I, obviously, when there's news, there's views, but we've got a huge drop of kill team. Now, for those of you unaware, I, well, you know, I'll talk about it in a sec, but for those of you unaware, the way kill team releases have worked in the past is you get your big box, and then three months later you get your next big box, and you get the individual remnants, the debris, of the previous box. So, for example, uh, you know, when Chownath drops, uh, six, uh, three months after that, you can then buy your Pathfinders, your Novitiates, and your Chownath terrain separately. However, since Into the Dark, Season 2 of Kill Team released, we haven't had that. We were still waiting for Navy Breachers, for Kroot, for everything to release. We also didn't know, how are we ever going to buy the terrain from Into the Dark? How do we get that narrative sprue? If we miss Shadow Vaults, which seems to have been a very limited run, uh, how can we get that narrative sprue? Lads, lad, ladies, lady, it's all been answered for us in today's thing. Couple of things. First things first, Kill Team Soul Shackle. This is not the pre-order, this is the announcement of the pre-order for next week. Now, I understand that this is a very... Uh, this, Take this purely for informational purposes. Normally, review copies will get two to three weeks with it. And luckily, I have been a reviewer for the part since uh, Kill Team 2nd Edition released. I still do not have Soul Shackle. Um, so, something's gone wrong. My under I've asked a few of the other, the other Kill Team content creators. They also do not have Soul Shackle. So... As it stands right now, there might not be any review day content. Who knows? Anyway, uh, before we continue on, I would like to say if you're a subscriber to my channel, a big double hello. Thank you for being here, guys. Let's keep going. Let's see what else they've dropped for us. Okay, so show, we know what Soul Shackle is. It's another set of Into the Dark Terrain. It's another sprue of narrative stuff it's the arbites and it's the drukari hand of the archon hand of the archon hand job of the archon gonna throw that out there right now consider that let's go with that officially shall we we then also get the kasakin finally releasing now this is really good partly because <sighs> obviously shadow vaults was really hard to get hold of right which means Probably a lot of that went to 40k players who then would not have put Kasek in over into Kill Team. So we haven't had a huge number of results for Kasek in, and they're just kind of sitting around in the middle of the stats and not doing much, and they seem to be okay, but everybody complains about them, so... Anyway, now you can get a hold of them. Awesome. Love it. Hopefully from this Saturday onwards, assuming they've made enough boxes of Kasek in, and that the 40k players don't buy them out again, because apparently Kasakin are like super strong in the new Gar Codex because they can do a thing with a mine. I don't know. Whatever. Hopefully we can see some more of the Kasakin being played uh, in Kill Team tournaments and such. And we can get a slightly better idea of just how gangster they are. Now the Fast Orca Kim Band that came alongside... No, they didn't. That was the high-tech circle. The Fast Orca Kim Band that came alongside uh, the Breachers. Great that we can get a hold of these again. Because obviously they are now a really good team. And I will say, you know, I'll, I'll cover this more in another video. But I would say they're, they're a really good beginner team as well. If you want to learn to play a Horde faction, you should probably go Fast Orca Kimban. You're 12 models, 10 activations total. You're doing good stuff. You're strong. So consider that. You know, if you want to move up from intercession and you want to see how a larger team plays, consider Kimban. The Breachers, terrible team, nobody should play them, thank you. Uh, we get the Hyrotech Circle. I suppose the only good thing here, because I didn't know, right? Because what you have here is you, you have the standard thing that Kill Team does where you get the, the Immortals Kit, and then you get the Upgrade Sprue for that. Cool, so Immortals Kit, Upgrade Sprue that allows you to make the Despotech and the Apprentech and some new things. But then, and this is the first time this team has done it, 
They've then taken a character model from another sprue. Well, no, sorry, Blooded is similar, I suppose. Uh, but they've done that, and so, yep, you just get that Technomancer, who is a model that you can buy just on its own as a character in 40k, and they're just putting that in the in the box as well. For some reason, some part of me thought, oh, maybe I'll have to, I'll only get, maybe when you buy the Hypertech Circle box, you actually only get uh, the Immortals and the Upgrades through, and then you have to go and buy the Technomancer you, or the Cryptech you want, because you have access to three. So maybe they bundled the, uh, is this, whichever, the this guy, in with the box, but actually it's up to you which one you go and buy after this. But it seems, I'm guessing, that uh, he does come in that box. And then we get on to the answer to the question of what do we do with all this jazz. So this is the kill zone, Gallo Dark. This is, so, in 40k, you now have a boarding actions box you can buy, which is the Gallo Dark from Into the Dark times two, but with no narrative terrain. Well, now, if, you're, if you don't want that, you can buy the Killzone Gallo Dark, which is exactly the same terrain, uh, both the core walls, etc., and the narrative sprue that comes in Into the Dark. And then there's an upgrade sprue for your terrain, Shadow Vault. I really want to know how much this will cost because it's one sprue. Like, it's here. I have it right here. How much will this cost? Place your bets right now. Um, let's guess. Oh, okay. My mind immediately went to £25. But I think it's, oh my god. I, it's GW, it's going to be 35. That's my official guess. Um, I don't know what that would be in uh, American money, Monopoly money or anything, but my natural instinct was 25, but I think, in hindsight, it's going to be 35. Let me know your guess. There you go. However, that is good, because one thing I do want to say is that, you know, the fun and the fluff of all this stuff is really important, and actually, when when you sit down and think about it, I don't want for us to just have Into the Dark for one year, the season of Kill Team, and until 40k um, kicks the bucket and goes into 10th edition, and Boarding Actions dies as a rule set, and, and then we just lose it, and we have to throw all of our terrain away, because actually, a lot of it is pretty cool. And all of these cool narrative pieces you can add to it do look really cool. And if you want to build something thematically, like, there's actually a lot there. And it's really cool. And now going into the, the next box, we're going to get Broken Walls. It's a pretty cool set. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I just want more excuses to use it uh, and build cool ships. There you go. Uh, we also get... The books that come along with it, typically I refer to these as codexes. They don't have an actual name. They're just a book. They are the Into the Dark book. They are the Shadow Vaults book. I call them a codex because, you know, 40k and all that jazz. Um, and then we get the biggest reveal, dice sets. Now look at these Hand of the Archon and Exaction Squad dice sets. Interesting. Because so far, we've only had the, the one above it, that colour scheme, which is, I'm going to guess, green and... Um, um, I actually have no idea. With the white pips. So, fine. That crude head looks silly. Just going to throw that out there. But then we have a new colour scheme, which is whatever this is. I'm going to say grey. Silver. It's probably silver, isn't it? Silver with orange. The issue there is that actually, um, I I think they're cool. I'm re I'm quite excited about my hand of the Archon team. Less excited about the Exaction Squad, but whatever. Um, and yeah, those are harder to read for me, uh, and that's bad. That that is bad, obviously. Whereas, although I don't particularly like uh, the style above there, they're much easier to read. Could just be my eyesight, you know, colorblind, etc. Uh, we then also get Void War bases, but that's not really us. And we get a bunch of other stuff, which again isn't really us. So we're kind of done with all of that now. 
Uh, cool. That's it. There you go. Uh, I did have one more thing I wanted to say, which was a bit of speculation about... Was it? Uh, the, the narrative sprues. So I'm really glad that they are doing the narrative sprues. But here's my question to you. Here's what I'm going to wrap up with, because I have no idea. But something I'm really curious about is what happens in the next season of Kill Team? Because we know that 40k is coming out in June. Okay, we don't know that, but it's there's been like three or four bits of external, so nothing to do with GW evidence, that implies very heavily that something is releasing in June, and we know that 40k is getting re-released this year. So it's almost certainly June. Um, and that means we'll be at the end of the Arcs of Omen, we'll be at the end of the boarding actions, and we'll go over to the new edition of 40k. Which means, in general, most people probably won't want the boarding actions to reign. Because there's not going to be boarding actions rules in the new edition of 40k. Now, maybe they've thought about that and they're like, right, we've got this course terrain. Let's go ahead and the first expansion book that we're going to do, uh, or what are they called? Crusade book, narrative book, I, I don't know, um, for 40k 10th edition, you know, th two, three months after uh, 10th drops, is going to be the boarding action terrain rules again. And you just get them all and then you're good. And, and maybe that will be something that makes them keep the terrain on. And so 40k players are still funding that and, and that's all good. The addition for Kill Team will have moved on. So we won't be getting the, the Gallo Dark terrain anymore. Like that's, that's all but confirmed. And by confirmed, I mean it, pure speculation. I mean like common, common guess, right? So we're going to go into another season. Another way to view terrain. And my fear is that if we just say, okay, we've done that, now we go back to open boards. Cool. However, we would then lose the constant release cycle and impetus to be playing into the dark rules. And therefore, if nobody's really playing it and it's just an optional alternative way to play the game, but with no future support, it might as well be dead, right? And that just seems a bit sad, you know, because it, it because it's so much more effort to get the terrain together for it, into the dark, right? To make up that you have to have a, the specific kit. But if you want to just sit down and play a game, you can use any terrain. So as soon as they stop making content for into the dark, for, for the gallow dark and stop promoting it as an official way to play, what do we do? There you go. Because like I, I've got so much of it now, I don't want to s throw it away and stop using it. I don't want to think, okay, in six months' time, once we go into the new edition, so July or whatever, I might as well never touch it again because we're move on. We're no longer be using that line of sight. We're no longer be using guard. We're no, you know, suddenly. Uh, and because they're not publishing rules for that, tournaments aren't going to go through the extra hassle of into the dark terrain. What do we do? What will they do, is the question. I mean, my current theory is some sort of hybrid. They're obviously going to continue to give us new terrain kits every three months. That seems to be their thing. And they've run out of existing terrain. So I reckon, much like Warcry is currently getting, we are going to be getting brand new Kill Team terrain in every box for Season 3 of Kill Team. Don't know what theme, you know, I've seen some people guess jungle, some people guess trenches, some people guess, you know, Armageddon, who knows. But how do they then make that relevant to still saying that, yes, you can play into the Dark Rules? They're still supported, even though we no longer sell any of the terrain or the books or blah, blah, blah. The only thing I can really hope is that the rules for Into the Dark do get carried over. Oh, they're going to go into the annual, aren't they? The rules for how to play Into the Dark are going to go into the 2023 Kill Team Annual. And that's how you get 
the rules to play them because they kill all the books. Mm. Something to think about. That's all I can say. I just don't want all of my terrain to suddenly become useless in six months' time. Anyway, pretty hyped that we can now buy all of these teams. Can't lie. Kasakin, good to see them. Uh, Kruta always awesome. I've had to buy the rest of mine off eBay. But, man, Kasakin were going for crazy money on eBay. Uh, so I could not buy any more of those. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you made it to the end of the video, I'd like to give you a big triple hello. Mm. Don't forget, everybody, I'm going to do my Intel drop on Tuesday as standard. And then on Wednesday, I leave... For play on tabletop, I'm going to be doing some sort of content with them um, Thursday, and then maybe Saturday, and then Tuesday, and then I leave. And I'm leaving to go to Kill Team Open KTO in Baltimore, where I'm pretty excited to be uh, doing the the meeting all the Americans out there. So I believe they do still have like ten tickets left for their hundred player competitive tournament. Go and check it out, uh, because, yeah, why not, right? It's going to be awesome. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been awesome. I did not expect to do this video. I just finished, I don't know, crying or something. So I thought I'd do this quickly before I go and record my Intel Drop video or make the slides for my Intel Drop video. So thank you very much, everybody. Have a good day and stay gangster.